Good evening, friends. Tonight, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Nectar of the Night. I have to give credit where credit's due. This cocktail comes is an adaptation from Acorn, the restaurant. And this video goes out to my brother-in-law, Ed. Ed, enjoy. <clears throat> so this is a tequila-based cocktail. So we're going to start off with two ounces of a Reposado tequila. I like to use this converted baby bottle because it's extra precise. So two ounces, about 60 milliliters. Um, I think a Reposado gives it a little bit more flavor. Next we're going to use, I use Cochi Rosa, but some sort of um, kind of ombre style vermouth or even a sweet vermouth will do. But we're going to do three quarter ounces of this. Um, this is really a great mixer. <clears throat> so this cocktail is a little bit like a, it's like a twist on a Manhattan, like a tequila Manhattan. So I actually use Amaro. It doesn't really matter too much what brand of Amaro, whatever your favorite Amaro is. So uh, I'm using Ramazzotti. So we're going to do about half an ounce of this. And then we're going to do just a little bit of Cointreau to give it a bit of orange sweetness. So I, I, I only do about a quarter ounce, so again, not much, so less than 10 milliliters. Because we're also going to use orange bitters, so you don't need too much. This gives it just a little bit of sweetness to round it out. Um, and then we're also going to do one bar spoon of agave. Your, whatever your favorite bar spoon. One bar spoon of agave. Put that on in there. <coughs> Stir that up a little bit. And then last we're going to do a few orange bitters. I really like Reagan's, but whatever your brand is going to be just fine. So, And it's not too crucial that you get it all stirred up because we're going to shake it um, to chill it, but we don't want to don't want to get too watery over an ice cube. So. Honestly, just a few dashes. So, one, two, three. Orange bitters. <clears throat> All right, next, we're going to shake this over a little bit of ice. So, I don't know, two or three ice cubes here. Again, we're going to serve this up because we want it to be cooled and just a little bit, uh, a little bit diluted from the shaking of the ice, but we don't want it to continue to dilute over an ice block. Um, I should use a single old fashioned glass, but something along those lines is just fine. Just strain out the ice. Right. <coughs> now, the key to this cocktail is actually in the garnish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna garnish with a big, generous orange twist. So I like to do a really big orange twist. And so first, take your orange twist and literally twist it. Really get all of those aromatic oils out of your rind. And kind of rub it around the top a little bit. That gets some of those oils right on the glass. But in addition to this, we're actually gonna use a whole clove gives it a little bit of a wintry taste. So we're going to take this clove, poke it right in the middle of our orange peel. And we're going to smoke it. We're going to light it on fire. It's kind of caramelizing it's a little bit of smoke. We kind of run this just around the glass a little bit. And then you can just dunk it right in. And what this does is it gives our <coughs> cocktail a really nice smoky flavor profile on the nose. Cheers. And enjoy. See you next time.